need you spaghetti bolognese. And you didn't <laughs> bother to get up and come and get it. Leon, my, you're back early. Is the assessment over already? Oh, uh, yes, sir. He's Mean dead. we. We. Oh, see, I see. How, how did our new friend go? You, did did, he did you say yes again, Richard? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> sir, the boy has no aptitude for armed combat whatsoever. I beat every life, uh, the age of life out of him. He doesn't even have even basics in training in a martial arts, let alone enough to survive. I recommend leaving him as a collector. Um, keep your keep your recommendations to yourself. Explain to me in detail what you two were, what you, what the two of you went through. Well, in detail, I beat the shit out of him. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> The boy showed up earlier than anticipated and tried to leave as soon as he after entering. I ambushed him in the dark as he turned to leave. He turned around at the last minute and was unable to defend himself. Hmm. That's disappointing. It wasn't until I turned the lights on and engaged in an unarmed combat, he was able to adequately protect himself. Whenever we return to armed combat, however... That's enough, you can go now. But I haven't finished talking about how I beat him with a frozen baguette. <laughs> you wanted the detailed explanation? I also used croissants as boomerangs. <laughs> By the end of our first 30 minutes together, you could barely stand. The Did boy is hopeless in unarmed in armed combat. A little harder than I could have. Enough! What part of, you can go now, do you not understand? Is this I, I am you French, I, I have seen words before. <laughs> Are you so insecure that you need to talk badly about your colleagues? How pitiful. C colleagues How could you compare me to that brat? Well, you are a Frenchman after all. Hey! <laughs> 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 The moment Karis soon know it, a figure appeared, be appeared behind him. Oh behind no! Leon, oh no! Behind him, his position. <laughs> you yourself said that he pre preempted your first strike. Moreover, you noticed that he was successful in defending against against your unarmed assault. Is that not what you just told me? It, it is, but he was just. Just what? Just lucky. Is a little luck all it takes to pre preempt a trained killer? It doesn't matter if he were a real target, I could have killed him with ease. Why well, it doesn't matter if he did well in unarmed combat. It hadn't been, if it hadn't been training, he would have died before ever getting the opportunity. I would have cut him in half like butter as I painted my croissant with his blood. <laughs> you, re you, re you really don't understand, do you? I'm French, I don't understand most of your words. See... This boy, this 17 year old boy, a teenager with no history of martial arts or com combat sports, was able to ward off the, assa the assault of a trained killer. A boy who, only until, only until, until only weeks ago, presumably had no knowledge of the underworld. In the matter of weeks, he, had to, he has developed the instincts of a killer, proven himself competent enough to take the place of Andre, a 12 year veteran in, the, in, the, in this business. What he possesses is adaptability. That is something you cannot simply learn. Sir, are you saying he has killer instincts? Get out of my office. 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 I'm sorry, sir. I'll go now. <laughs> oh, he left! <laughs> oh, he left! You can't do. Co okay, Kurt, you do size. <laughs> Do you want me to keep an eye on him? <laughs> straight, straight to business, huh? Leave him be, for now. But if he's stupid enough to make the next move, see to it that it is the last. It is, it is, it is, it is his last. I've got a bit of a stuttering problem. <laughs> <laughs> the businessman has a stuttering problem. Does <laughs> he? Sickness, chapter seven, loose end. Who's that Pokemon?
It's Pikachu. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later. <laughs> it's Saturday night. It's September 24th. What the fuck's with this all music? What's with this music? I'm going to kill a bitch. That's what. Tonight, as I did, as I did last night, I found myself in the bu in the bushes alongside my target's home. I start. I, I pulled on a boombox to start playing one of her favorite songs. <laughs> it's quite. It's quite a hit. Girl. <laughs> ah, wrong song. <laughs> it's quite a. It's quite a hiding spot that I found my found just yesterday, one in which I can catch the the occasion the occasional glimpse of my target without being seen or by or losing track of them. As much as I'd like to get this over and done with, I'm in no position to rush. Since the old woman defeat I suffered at the hands of Leon, I've done little more than rest. I spent half of yesterday just lazing around the house, not moving an inch, and, and certainly not giving a return, return to the visit to the gym at any fort. But while the rest of the, at, at home, sounds of envious sounds of envious to me, to most. There remain there remain just one problem. Sarah. Unable to f hide my injuries from the from the watchful eye of my twin sister, I cooped an ear for as she ber berated berated me for an hour at the end, on end. She had no doubt gro grown gro she had no doubt grown suspicion long before I returned home. So when I finally did and turn up in the early hours of the morning, covered in bruises and cuts from head head to toe, that was the last straw. As easy as it had been to lie to my sister until now, this time she wouldn't listen to reason. Sarah didn't believe for a moment that I'd simply gotten into di to, into a disargument, disagreement with a co-worker. She had certainly, she, she, and she certainly won't drop the issue at any time soon. No, I won't, because I'm a woman. What oh, God. exactly happened over there? Uh, I knocked into one of my colleagues, and he spilled his coffee, which... So that yeah, explains yeah, all the yeah, bruises? Yeah, that's sure that happened. That's, that's totally what happened. <laughs> Oh my god, Sarah's turned into a very angry robot! <laughs> <laughs> Every moment we spend together since then has been filled with in incessant questioning and skepticism, finally reaching the point where I couldn't stand my sister's company. And now for the, there would come a time where I'd be so happy to leave my sister's side, but no matter, no matter how much I love her, there's only so much I can take. Now I'm actually welcoming the duty over, over which I'd been sitting on the fence. Even if I have no desire to inflict injury upon my target, dealing with them seems more more like a pleasant alternative to spend the night with my sister. In short, I'm running away from the harsh reality of my own life and taking it, taking it on someone else. That's not very nice, big brother. I'm gonna punch you. Shut up! You're not here. <laughs> I light switched on the bedroom. Uh, um, I light I light switched on in the bedroom of the of my target, revealing a slender figure beyond the see-through curtains. Yesterday, I found my target home, returning in the dead of night to survey the area more closely. I had sought to gather information on my target's routine and home, looking for any opportunity or, p or entry point, somewhere to get into the con gun in contact with them. Unfortunately, what I found only, ma only made the task seem even more difficult. My target resides on the second story of a ho house share with two other people. All three occupants slept, up slept upstairs, and the only way to get to my target's room without risking the risking their intervention is through the window. Now, at this point in time, my body is far too weak to make such a climb. Even at 100%, I'd have difficulty scaling the side of a two-story house. Unfortunately, I don't have any other choice right now. With curtains drawn, the light dim once more, my target finally went to bed, signaling that it was time for me to make my move. Hostering myself onto the, on the fence, separating my target's house from their neighbors, I grabbed up I grabbed onto the gutter of the neighbor's sing single-story house. I studied my body as I stood up balancing on the fence until the moment I made the first, first of, of two decisive jumps. I pulled myself onto the roof of my target's house, then quietly crept up to the window, unlocked, and let myself inside. Dun, 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 dun. This is the Mission Impossible, you know! <laughs> The, the moment uh, I entered the... I thought the music fit. fit. This is like a very serious moment! Well, okay, fine. It. Um... Done. 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 <laughs> done. Done. Just done, slow it done. down! <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the moment I entered the room, my target's eyes greeted me unknowingly. She gazed at me through eyes full of fear and confusion like alike. Eyes that questioned whether the sight before, before them truly reflected reality. 
Not what would happen next. Too bad. I wanted to finish this while she slept. Perhaps I should have waited a bit longer. My target needs to be dealt with. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean she needs to suffer. She's done nothing wrong, at the least not intentionally. All with malice in her heart. She just needs to be... Silenced. Silence. <laughs> Hello, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> Sparing no time for, sec for second thoughts, I unveiled the blade. I'd been so... L I'd I'd so long to test out. Not yet stained with the r the red release it, ye it yearned for, my blade flourished under the moon's rays, prepared to take its first victim. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Yes, robot girl, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I ha I had the situation had the situation a bit been a tad different. This girl might have been spared, but by this point, there was no long that is no longer an option. I progressed without saying a word, simply nodding in information. Unsurprised by her, by her fate, the girl didn't scream or try to escape. But every ounce of her being that desperately wanted to cling to life, the overwhelming constant seemed to be that death was, was what awaited for her. Will you at least tell me why? You should have kept your mouth shut, Miss Lucinia. The con- Contoured to abandon all conversation that there and then, I traversed the final gap between us. The senior didn't try to stop me as I closed in. For even as I stepped down, stepped down beside her, <gasps> short breath escaped from her li lips as I wrapped my hand around her and held her, held her close. But still, she showed no resistance. Then another breath escaped from the senior's body, this time through a different opening. Any trace my <laughs> really <laughs> no <laughs> I gently trace my, my... Throat All you is... <laughs> <laughs> I gently trace my hunting knife along along her throat all the while keeping my left hand over her ha over her mouth <laughs> you see her try to scream but the air ins instead escaped through the new slit in her neck further propelling the blood the blood spray I, I I'd already induced. Finally Lucia tried to fight back, but by now she had no strength with with which to resist. Yeah, a little bit late, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> her teeth made no impression on on the glo on the gloving door in her face. Unfortunately for her, I had I had learned from my previous kills. No fingerprints, no abandoned weapons, or, or articles of clothing from this from this position, no blood to stick to stay me. As I calmly analyzed my situation, Lucinia's feudal resistance grew even weaker. All she can do was bleed to death. While I was while, while I avoided avoid the, the mess she was ma making. Concluding that Lucinia had no strength with which to fight back, I began to look look around her room. Only then began to realize why she did why she did what she did. Her walls are bare. She has no computer or television or com no no CDs. Not even as much as a poster or, or handbag. All she has is books and a desk, both of which no no doubt exist for the sole purpose of studying. Living like that, it's hard to, it's hard to blame her for seeking for seeking attention. It's only natural she crave a little excitement. Too bad she chose to be fr to do so by threatening my li my livelihood. Returning my focus to the task at hand, I I noticed that Lucinia had lost the last of her fight lost of her fight. Her lifeless course was still in my hand, keeping upright only by the support the support I supplied. I guess my work here is done. Time to get out of here before Who does this one? Lucinia, are, are you awake yet? Are you Where is the sound? I think. <laughs> what am I someone need to say it? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Where was the where was, where, where was the <laughs> No, not fat Albert. <laughs> where was the sound of her of her, of her early flight and all the footsteps of the mur of a murderer? Lucinia and I had attracted the attention of her father. The twin doors separating Mr. Kane from her daughter's cold body cre crept up crept up open, revealing him to an unspeakable scene. I swear, I swear if, I swear if you have if you're honest sleep by the time I count to Mr. Kane stopped, stopped himself mid-sentence, both physically and mentally, and unable to continue his tr his train of thought. 
on the senior's bed was a lifeless corpse of his of his daughter, and just beyond her corp- corpse stood the, stood the teenager responsible for her gruesome death. And that moment of of emo of emo immobilizing shock was all all I needed. <laughs> I pierced the night the night air as I as I pl- plunged my hunting knife into Mr. Kane's eye socket, pinning him to the wall across, across the senior's room with a with phenomenal speed and ease. He didn't have the t- enough time to raise his hands, let alone move, move out of the way, allowing me to dr- drive my knife through the back of his skull with me- with minimal resistance. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> no longer able to speak or think, Mr. K remained frozen, standing, o- standing only, thank- only thanks to my help. Free from the blade supporting him, Mr. K fell to the floor, unable to move an, I- an inch through-, through his own free will. Even Mr. K disposed of, however, my work has not yet been done yet. That bastard, I should have no- should have muffled the sound of his sound the instant I struck. Thanks to his noisy nature and his and, uh, mouth, this has quickly become a massacre. Although by her husband's scream, Mrs. K was hu- huddled in the corner of her room, whispering on the phone. I've really messed up. I've really messed this one up. I was supposed to deal with the senior and leave. A quick and quiet job, with only one, only a single victim. But now, hey, he's here! He's in the room right now! No, no, I don't know. It's too dark to tell. Please, please, just hurry up and. What? <laughs> what she? Bur- what she burped? <laughs> <laughs> Cut off by the sun of tear and flesh, Mrs. K's eyes eyes locked onto the steel blade protruding from her throat. Entering from behind, the blade made its way, way clean, made its way clean through her es- esophagus, esoph- her esophagus, without any resistance whatsoever. Uh, ma'am, 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 is that? Are you still, are you still there, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, ma'am, if you're not gonna reply to me, I'm not gonna send anyone over. Do you understand? Mrs. K tried to speak, but with my blade lodged in her throat, doing so proved impossible. John, if you put this on YouTube, I'll kill you! <laughs> oh, oh, you did it for me! Yeah, what was I thinking? Richard, why did you say I'm gonna kill you? Don't! <laughs> Alright, should we get back to this? Yeah, sure. Quickly. Mrs. K- Mrs. K tried to speak with the with my blade logs in her throat. Doing so proved impossible. Her head shook, and the foam which she was holding rock- rocked from side to side, descending it as the strength required to support it. Its weight f- failed her. Ma'am, ma'am, I send the patrol call right now. You, you just stay on the line so we can. <laughs> Swing. Administering the final blow, I ended the conversation with Mrs. K. Had hoped would save her. Her body fell to the floor, lifeless and bloody, next to her next next to her next to her mobile phone. I calmly picked up the phone picked up the phone off the floor, cut in the call, and immediately basked in the silence I summoned. Fuck! Fuck shit fuck! She hang up! <laughs> D- damn it! Oh I guess that means it, I guess it doesn't matter then! The next day Sunday morning, September twenty fifth. A rest of morning of of clear conflict and renewed affection. I wanted peace and quiet, and much needed pr- proximity. But, but, be it her forgiving nature or the absent warmth of, of her brother, Sarah quickly dropped the issue that separated us only days ago. She has by no means forgotten, of course. Sarah would over, wouldn't, won't overlook the issue anytime soon, but neither will she allow it to continue between, between us any longer. Even if I thought Sarah was being unreasonable at the time, she's undoubtedly a much be- better person than I am. In hindsight, I think I may, I think I, I may have scared her into forgiveness. She honestly had been been scared to death when I turned up in the early hours of the morning, bruised and beaten within an inch of my life. She wouldn't admit she wouldn't admit, of course, but I can see the concern on her face. As easy as she as she saw the f- through my con- dis- deceit. On top of that, I can only imagine how she felt when, on Friday and Saturday alike, I disappeared in the middle of the night. I'm a running brother, aren't I? Yes, you are. But whoa, yes. I didn't know you were there. 
Shut up, robot girl! <laughs> Despite my disappearance and deceit. Or deceit, whatever. Perhaps, perhaps because, of, because, because of them, Sarah sought to mend our relationship. The second we, someone began to drift apart. She agreed to stop asking about where I've been and what I've done, accepting that I wouldn't tell, tell him to her. Or at least not yet. I can actually get older. Sarah, have I ever told you the time where I killed people? Oh, oh shit. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> no! <laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. I wasn't supposed to tell you that then. I'm calling the cops! <laughs> no, you can't call the cops! <laughs> huh? Oh no, wait. I killed my only sister! No, wait, don't call the cops! It's a knife. It is just so, sort of, like, lightly grazing the skin. Ah! Damn it! I don't have <laughs> the strength to pierce like the I skin. <laughs> as much as I, as much as I like to put Sarah's mind at ease, I fear that telling her the truth would accomplish the exact opposite. I'm not the vigilante she painted me to be. I'm definitely not the kind of person she should idolize. Even if some of my despicable actions were in in inevitably paid the bills, they are nothing to be proud of. Hey, hold still. As I warned in my own melancholy, on my own melancholy thoughts, Sarah continued to devote devotely rub ointment into my back. Though my wounds have been he here at, a, at an unfathomable pace, I'm still bruised from head to toe, and there's no way I can hide that fact from the watchful eyes of my sister. Despite that, she actually s said very little about my entries, or even about my job. I wonder what she'd say if I told her I was offered a new job. Sarah might actually provide so much needed insight into the situation. I don't have I don't have to give her details. It's just enough information to let her know what's going on. Say, Sarah. Hmm. <laughs> Sarah kept running my back, seemingly unaffected by the long, long coming back, back at break in silence. If hypothetically I were offered a job, the kind where I typically only work a few hours at a night, what would you say? Ah. Uh... This time Sarah stopped rubbing. She stared at my back qu quest quizzically for a moment, while wearing a concerned smile the next. A, a safer job? Well, I don't know about that. It is safer to... S is it safer to sit someone's throat in the dead of night than... than is to extort people from, the, from, from them in, de in broad daylight? Either way, as far as she's concerned, yes, a safer job. As I confirmed her wishful thinking, Sarah reacted with neither relief nor excitement. Then it, the line felt rephrased, rehearsed, almost as almost as though my answer was irrelevant. So you might not be there when I go to sleep, but you won't be covered in bruises when I wake up. Hypothetically speaking. Pretty much. Thank fuck. Sarah. <laughs> what do you mean, fuck? <laughs> Thank fuck, I think. Yes, that's what I meant. Thank fuck. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean that's what you meant? Um, d don't mind me, brother. I'm just I'm rubbing stuff into your back. Just, just, just shut the fuck up and let me do it. Okay, let's what say hypothetically, uh, rub, I was... Oh, Sarah, you're starting to rub that o lotion in very hard. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Self on my proposal for over, over, over for a moment, silently mourning over the potential re re ramifications. Of course, even if she doesn't say a word, Sarah isn't hard to read. On one hand, I would be safe, and I'd no longer need to fake ten-hour days. I wouldn't have to wake up early in the morning either. On the other hand, we'd have less time together overall. I might not be there for dinner, and I might not be there, be there at bedtime. Working at, work at nights, I'd also go to, go to sleep later and turn 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 in, wake up late, later, and miss out on our usual morning banter. A little late later, I might not be able to see her see her off. Personally, I, I don't mind what what her choice is. I'm truly conflicted either way. This is a real lose lose situation. Sarah's moment moment slowed to a halt as her mind continued to drift further away. Sarah. Ah, I I just want you to be safe. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. She's lying. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> just, not. Just epic, just epicness. <laughs> She's lying. No, I'm not. I'm not lying about anything. You're lying to yes, me. <laughs> you can tell that Sarah Sarah's too honest to lie about her feelings so blatantly. Contrary to the concern that she displayed just a moment ago, Sarah wants me to take the hard, dangerous route. 
Bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> uh, my presence is, is more is worth more than my safety. What the fucking bitch? <laughs> give him the choice. Give him the choice between a safe, safe and healthy brother who she see she never see she never sees in a crip and a cripple that she can spend all day with. It seems she preferred the latter. But Maybe. I don't want to be crippled. I don't want to be crippled. Sarah finished treating my back, and the rest of the morning went by, went by rather quick quietly. She spent her time reading and doing her homework, occasionally glancing at the TV with my, while my mind drifted towards a topic I couldn't afford to share. Karasu gave me until the end of the week to reach a decision, and with the night om almost upon us, it would appear that I'm, I'm just about out of time. As if that wasn't enough, I need, a, I need to ensure that my work from last night went, went unnoticed. After, the, after finishing off the final member of the K family, I located a bottle of bleach and under the sink, I, which I used to remove the fresh blood from my gloves and shirt. I then proceeded to steal some clothes from the late from Mr. K's wardrobe, careful not to step not to step in the puddle of in, the puddle encroaching upon the ro the room's doorway. I made my made my escape out the back door. A few fences later, I was in the clear. I was fortunate to get out to get out of there before the police arrived, but wasn't enough. Did the wife manage to tell the police anything before I killed her? Did I accidentally leave a bloody shoe shoe print? Will some of my hair be found at the scene? Well, maybe or if it takes you wore a clover and other stuff, you maybe wouldn't have left any hair. Shut up, Richard! I'll kill you. <laughs> Not if I kill you first. <laughs> just starts, just goes on to a sissy fight. Shut up! I'll kill you. Not if I kill me first. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is one little mistake, and I could wind up in jail, if not the cemetery. If not the cemetery. What do you mean the cemetery is? Is that the police gonna shoot you? You're under yes, arrest. Well, <laughs> but yeah, they probably would. Despite my worries over getting caught, I found no sympathy as I as I recalled the ma manner in which I disposed of Lucinia and her family. For all my complaints about Marcus killing people unnecessarily, all my reservations about working for Karasu, in reality, I. I had already stopped caring. I should have known. I should have. I, should, I know. I should have. I should feel bad about Lucina, but when I think about how her lies could have gotten me into prison, I, I, I just can't. What happened with her family members was unfortunate. That sh they shouldn't have died like that. I was careless, lingering longer than planned. Needed to kill them to make to make a quick getaway. But now that they're all gone. I just. Grr. Oh, what? <laughs> Pulling myself away from my dangerous thoughts, I, f I found my sister staring at the TV, gro groaning under her breath. Sarah, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. <laughs> Despite her claim, she continued to stare at the television, quietly voicing her discontent. They cancelled Teletubbies again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. What? What do you? What do you turn? Turn on telepathically? What, wait, wait, what? What? Are you? Are you trying to turn? Turn on telepathically? Shut up. And you mean ten telekinetically? Yes, it's the right word. Yes. Ouch. Even when she, even when she's miles away, she, she, she still cor corrects me. Do you want me to turn it on for you? No, I told you I need to do my homework. Are you stupid or something? Then why are you trying to turn the TV on with your mind? Because I'm missing out on watching the tweenies. <laughs> Fair enough. You know they're not real. Shut up! <sighs> they're not real. Fine, fine. I can dream. Fine. fine, fine, I'll turn it on. Honestly, if you want to watch TV, just say so. No, last... you have to be able to read a woman's mind. Didn't you know that? Oh my god. In today's news, this family has been murdered. This is what the killer looks like. <gasps> Brother! It's just like, it's just, it's just like some it's just like some little kid scribble. <laughs> <gasps> Brother, is that you? No, uh, no, no, wait. What does it even look his like hair... me? Wait a minute, it, 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 his hair looks spiky and he looks shorter. Boo, 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 boo. Bart! <laughs> 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 I didn't do it. 
<laughs> That's what they all say, Sonia, come with me! And the last <laughs> person would be. <laughs> Bort! And the last, and the last person who berates that. someone else for, for not doing their homework. <laughs> so, what are you in for? Apparently, I killed someone. <laughs> Family thing. <laughs> he chokes him. <laughs> How can he choke him? He's in prison. <laughs> he threw the bars. <laughs> what? He just like, he just like jumps over the, he just like jumps into prison and just so starts like, strangling him. So, so, boy, what were you in here? Apparently I killed someone. Why you little? <laughs> <laughs> what? He just starts strangling him through the glass screen. <laughs> Homeless got some impressive strength then. <laughs> Cinema on the television, not, accom not accomplishing a thing, I've, I resolved my, myself to, a simple to simply enjoy my sister's company. While she completed her homework, intermittently changing channels on the television, I slowly drifted off, both born and content with our current I arrangement. Hi, D. Leo, Homer, how's your son doing in prison? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Flanders. Okay, did, okay, no, did, okay. I, I actually was going to mention Flanders as well. Hi, D. Leo, you're under arrest. No! <laughs> 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 that, that was perfect. <laughs> no! <laughs> we watched hour after hour of dramalized rubbish and, and copious advertise, advertising, wasting the wasting the rain sunlight without regret. It's not dramatized the... rubbish, okay? It is um, it's Pokemon, okay? But just it went from Tay Tubby's to Tweenies, and then we saw it went to something that seems a little bit more. I don't know. Well, well seem Ash is quite simple, and I can understand him. Ash is not oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Ash is not real. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. He's my boyfriend. No, he's, not he's not real. He's, he's, he's imaginary. He's like, he's like, it's like Twilight. It never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're dating Ash? You're dating, you're dating a ten-year-old? Yes, I, I'm ten, aren't I? <laughs> no. No. No, you're like. No, you're a freaking teenager! <laughs> As the day dragged on and dinner dinner approached, Sarah and I were finally grazed with something we both wanted to watch. Or in my case, something I needed to watch. Oh my god! Oh, it's oh, it's Tom and Jerry! <laughs> and late, late last night, night the police, police received a frantic phone call no from this rainy day <laughs> of a local celebrity, Lucy Kane, who was um, saved by the supposed physical anti less than a week ago. Wait, what? <laughs> local celebrity? Uh oh. Yeah. When police officer arrived at the scene, Mr. and Mrs. Kane were both found virtually murdered inside a home already beyond saving. Coming up next, Richard's wait. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kane's death is believed to have been almost immediate, whereas Miss Kane died more slowly from blood loss. There was no signs of a break-in, nor any indications that anybody has been invited into a home, leaving police without any suspects at this time. Quite We'd like to say that, that these victims did not suffer. Seems to me they slipped a lot, Chief. <laughs> oh, jeez, low. <laughs> <laughs> I quietly sighed in relief as I heard the good news, though I remained skeptical as to, where, as to whether or not it was the truth. Why would the police admit to not having any suspects, or find any trace of a person being there? Now I will show I you a new trick. I can hold this microphone between my boobs. I know Kersu alluded to the fact that the police here are easily bought off, but this smells more like a trap than a case of corruption. The sole survivor of this devastating attack, Miss Lucia K, is currently being monitored by police in the intensive care unit and in undisclosed hospital. Why well, she's wait, wait, what? How she's did, alive? How did she survive that? I thought she died. She, you slit her throat. No, it stabbed her throat. No, no, no slit. Slit. No, it was, it was like a stab. Like um, if you no, look no, it no, said no, in no, it, no. it's like you cut her no, throat. No, not the mum. It was a, no, it was a not cut. the mum. Not the mum, the daughter. No, the I uh, know the daughter. You, s the daughter's throat was slit from like one side to the other. Like her throat was. I cut. guess it was just a cut. <laughs> Given the police commissioner's decision to release Lucia, um, yeah, Lucia, and um, despite the danger she was believed to be in, he is expected to. What the hell? It's impossible. <laughs> she can't be alive. 
I still have foot wide open. Um, are you okay, bro? Um. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, oh, well, I, I, no! Get my knife. Are you okay? No, I, I mean, the vigilante wouldn't do that, right? Doesn't make any sense. Nobody said it was the vigilante. Uh-oh. Though they do seem to be implying it. Wait a minute. You're the killer! <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, time to kill, to oh, well, time oh, to kill well, myself now. Well, before I get rid of the body. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> really good! Uh, speculation regarding Lucia's connection to the vigilante at large is already beginning to spread like wildfire online. Uh-oh. Tumblr kids. Yeah. <laughs> is this the work of the same vigilante who supposedly rescued Lucia not even one week ago? Or is this a revenge killing for what happened to her attackers? Tune in next time for the final episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Personally, I believe that. Blah, nobody cares about your opinion. Is. Hey, excuse me. One person, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> bah, nobody wants your opinion, you stupid brunette. <laughs> so is that Slicen or is that Stefan? He slit in her throat. Stabby dabby. It's not stab, it's a slit. Stabby dabby. I guess I didn't. I guess I guess I didn't slit the jugular vein enough. Mm. You would have to say she should have fled to death from blood loss. Yeah. How did she survive? If any, if anything, the fat woman sure be, sure survived because she had more blood to bleed out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was gravy. <laughs> <laughs> Gravy! Gravy! <laughs> <laughs> I came to. I, re I continue to see into my own mind. Down in what I heard and seen. Gravy doesn't clot. <laughs> it, se it seems the gravy from our. Yeah, but gravy doesn't the gravy have from the wound. DNA in it either. <laughs> <laughs> it, seems the gra it seems she was drinking right. a cup of gravy when this happened. It seems the gravy actually stopped the knife from killing her. <laughs> you don't know how this happened, but it did. Apparently, gravy is a good way to stop stab wounds. <laughs> the woman was so fat that the um the, that her fat on her cheeks sort of like enclosed the wound and sort of like trapped the bleeding, on, so on that a, way wait, she didn't bleed to wait, death. On her cheeks? <laughs> Do you not mean her neck? Yeah, yeah, it's like the flab. The flab sort of like closed over. <laughs> <laughs> Despite what I heard and seen, have you played the events of last night over my head? I'm wondering how Lucinia could have possibly survived. Impossible. That's the better word for it. Just impossible. Lucina was dead before she even before she even left my arms. I felt her pulse reduced to nothing. I witnessed her, her final breath. I cut her throat to ribbons. I watched her blood sink, soak her soak her blood sheets bed sheets. And if the police arrived shortly after I left, they couldn't possibly have gotten her to the hospital quickly and quick enough to survive. It's just a trick to lure me out. Nothing more. The trick! The trick! The tricky trick! The trick! The trick! The trick! So, trick. did you kill the girl or not? Because you I still haven't answered your question. <laughs> I didn't do it! I didn't do anything! As, as a swan, a guy. Hmm. As I continue to indulge in the dangerous thoughts, nightfall, thought, finish, consuming the sky, being an end to a predominating and uneventful day, Sarah pl plunged through her homework, caught up on some reading. And still had time to roast the chicken for dinner. Oh yeah, go the me. The news of her friend being intensive, being in the intensive care unit, didn't seem to phase her in the least. She didn't even react to the mention of the vigilante in whom she had previously displayed in such interest. While I'm grateful that Sarah didn't make a big deal of, of my outburst, I'm a little worried about her lack of reaction. I just don't give a shit, really. Sounds like it. It's in our own situation these past few days. Sarah's probably afraid to make any wa any waves. Not one to t not one the two of us to f to fight again. If that is the case, then I don't know whether to feel guilty or relieved. Once Sarah was sound asleep, I quickly slipped out of the bed, carefully pla carefully pl placing her arms around her around a pillow in my stead. I tiptoed through the living room and made my way to the door, remain as quiet as I possibly could. <laughs> Sorry to do this to you again so soon, Sarah. But tonight, I have something important to take care of. 
You get your butt back here and you cuddle me. <laughs> Retracing the route. The route I, I've been escorted along twice before. I used Marcus's key, which I received from Karasu after my, our last chat. Then the stairwell leading to Karasu's underground stadium. Once there, I head towards his office, not encountering a single person or a well-lit room of any set of, 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 of the way. Faced with the heavy, heavy steel door I had last passed through only days ago, I knocked and waited for a response. Oh, ah, heaven! <laughs> oh! I pour off the room into the dark passage, pass, passage. I saw in my eyes in the same manner as before. Once my eyes adjusted, I found Cursor waiting on the other side of the door, seemingly absorbed by the by the content of his laptop. Welcome back, Mr. Tesla. What do I owe the pleasure? Is he serious? Sir, you told me that I had until the end of the week to reach a decision. Moments after I spoken, the door behind me shut. I couldn't see or hear anyone else present, so I assumed the door shut automatically after a few seconds I had passed. Oh, of course. I almost for I had almost forgotten about that. Fall long and hard about it. Have I ever? It may have been forgettable matter to Karasu, but to me, this is a life changing decision. Working for Karasu being forced to do do despicable things for impressive sums of money. Ooh. Oh fuck! We, we have to choose! Save it! Uh let's try decline. I can't do it. I'm very you mean disappointed. You can't. <laughs> Sir, please, it's just. No matter how badly I need the money, I can't risk getting killed or imprisoned. I need a safe job so I can continue to look after my family. Furthermore, if I started working nights, I won't be able to see my family at all. As things are, we only have, a, we only have mornings and afternoons together, so if I start working late into the night. <sighs> cut the crap, would you? S Sir? You can't risk getting killed or imprisoned. Don't make me laugh. You've killed six people this month, crippled one for life, and threatened dozens of others on my, on my behalf. What part of the what part of that sounds safe exactly? Uh, no, that's. And what's this nonsense about not wanting to work nights? Not once have I said that you need to do that. Eh? But I thought for sure that'd be. I haven't even told you what kind of work you'd be doing yet. How would you even, how would you know something like that? And even hypothetically, your new job did mean doing what you see, seem so fond of. It wouldn't be the first time you've killed in the broad daylight. Fond of? Me? Fond of killing? What's this guy saying? Of course, if you re if you really worry about that, about that being, about being there for your family, or rather your sister, then I could always rearrange to have her attend a boarding school. Will that not solve the problem? Damn it, Cursor Re isn't isn't really leaving me any any room to argue. I never had a choice in this, did I? I I understand. I gratefully accept your offer. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. So I had no choice then! Why yeah. give me that option? Great! I got worried over nothing! Yeah, you saved the game for nothing. You told me to save it and I was going to anyway though. Yeah, well I, I know, but like still, you saved the game for nothing. <laughs> True. Oh, Be well. here Monday morning, 10 a.m. I'll have you meet your new co-workers. Wait a minute, co-workers? I won't be working on, on my own. You will, at least for the most at least for the most part. But I do employ others with your talent. You'll be assigned work by your peers, participating in meetings to discuss potential targets. You know, typical business stuff. Typical business stuff, my ass. What happens if I fail an assignment? I wouldn't worry about that. There's a reason why I employ more than one person with, with your talent, you know. If you can't complete an assignment, one of your colleagues will step in. Though, you should know that you that you will get paid for per successful assignment. If someone else takes on your assignment for you, they will take your pay along with it. Although Karasu has answered my question, he still made no mention of what an, what an assignment might entail. And off, and off in no further detail regarding what my talent might might be might be exactly. As he had as he had from the beginning, Kurosu appeared to be telling me the bare minimum, making sure I was on board before it divulging more than more than necessary. So, any questions? Just as I began to wonder what Kurosu wasn't telling me, the man asked, asked an enticing question, as though sensing my unease. So it's not that he won't tell me; I just need to ask the right question. 
Okay, then with everything Kyrus has told me, what's important information he has left out? Fuck! No! There's no save! Well, at least you saved it before. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> you can always go back to the save where it's like you accept. True, but I can't do that right now. There is no right, options. So, do we ask about so we payment? Ask about what are our co workers like? Oh, with that rather lively bunch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Except when they fail me and they have to die. Oh. We should. Maybe we should ask about the business. The business. Oh, we do drugs, man. We do drugs. Have I you met our I... new co worker, Walt? His name's Walter White. <laughs> Jesse, we have to. So, we have to cook! <laughs> so. I'm gonna ask about the business. What do you do exactly? Me? You want to know more about yours truly? Well, I am kind of curious, but. No, what I mean is, what is this business of yours? Marcus made it sound like you, um. pursue many different. Oh, oh fuck. Avenues. Av avenues of income. Marcus, huh? Well, that brat told you, forget it. Just do as I say and don't worry about the details. As far as you're concerned, my business is that of an industrious employer. One who awards his employers very generously. Okay, ask about my... No, better ask about payment first because that's probably going to be important. Okay, do it. When you say per payment assignment, just how much are we talking about? Oh, curious how much you'll be earning, huh? You're renewing... Oh fuck! I word I don't know. Your renewum. Your oh no! Remuneration. Your remuneration is proportional Proportion. to the difficulty. I know how. I know that word. Proportional to the difficulty and the execution of the assignment in question. Further to that, that this service I offer doesn't come cheap. You'll never go broke working for me. Rest assured that you will make an easy living. The exact, the exact amount is up to you. I want a million dollars! No. Fuck off! Fuck! And kill the president. <laughs> <laughs> but I will rule And do the it world. without anyone noticing at his next speech. But, but sir, if Donald Trump is the next president, do I really have to do it? <laughs> oh, I, guess you have a, I guess you have a point then. Kill all the presidential candidates except for Trump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just like, you just okay, 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 right okay. <laughs> <laughs> You said something about me having co-workers. Yes. The wait, wait, like wait, blah, 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 wait. End okay, of question. Okay, except, okay, kill all the um, presidential candidates except for Donald Trump. Blah, blah, Hillary, Clin uh, blah, blah, Hillary Clinton. Especially Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I suppose this isn't, isn't, I guess this, that isn't the best word for it, for it, for them. But yes, you'll be working alongside other like-minded individuals. You won't typically work a side-by-side, -side, of course. For the most part, they will act more akin to backup. You will work independently, but still report to you, but still report to and assist your co your comrades. There are six of us, two of whom you've already met. I tell you more, but you'll meet them in person tomorrow morning anyway. No more questions. So 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, ready for work. That's right. From morning onward, you are one of my my elite.